Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flip to Teacher Professional Learning video, we're going to be taking a look at a tool available available through Google Suite called My Maps. Well, what it actually gives you is access to Google Maps, but you can actually put down your own custom markers and you can then customize exactly what is being shown. So for example, if you are studying the War of the Worlds, great book, you might be use this to track the events uh, and plot where they are on the map. So you can see here on the screen that we've got some of the locations um, from different parts of the War of the Worlds and you can actually set those up to show you the progress and the um, the route that is taken through the book. Now let's talk about accessing and using my, uh, my Maps. So you need to go into your Google Drive, click New, More, and there you have Google My Maps. If it's not there, click on Connect More Apps and look for Google My Maps and uh, install that app. What that will give you is a blank Google Map uh, that looks a little bit like this, but unlike a regular uh, Google Maps that you would use for yourself to get directions to somewhere you have to go, you've got options to put down layers of pins. So what we can do is, is we can give it a title um, and we can then add different layers. So what we're going to do as an example is we're going to plot down some of the points on the of the Burke and Wills expedition. So I'm going to give this a title. And you can have different layers as well if you do want to. So what we need to do first of all, we need to find where is the first location going to start. Now we know that they started in Royal Park, Melbourne. So you would search for the location as normal through the search bar here and it will give you a pin. But what you can also do here is there's an add to map button and that will now add that location. You can see it's over here on the right, on the left hand side. Uh, you've now got that location pinned. What you can then do is a couple of things. Down the bottom here you can uh, change the style. So the color, you might want to change the um, color of the pin to make it stand out more. You can uh, edit the uh, title. You can also put in the description. So that description is now attached to the pin, but only in my map that I'm working on at the moment. You can add an image or a video. So if you have a photo or a video from that location, you can insert that. You can uh, get directions to it, or obviously you can remove the pin itself. Now the next location, they ended up at the end of the first day was in Essendon in Victoria. Now I want to actually join the two, uh, the, the two locations. So I need, I'm going to come up here and choose the draw a line. Click on the first point, drag to the second point, done. So day one, I can now give that line a title, I'm going to call it day one, and that will show now the distance, how far they traveled on that particular day. So from there, I can continue to add other layers, other points, I can also move things around, so I might decide that I want to add a layer. So you might decide that you want a layer with just the locations. That just shows locations. You might also decide that you want a layer that has the travel. So that way if you don't want the the line to show you just want the pins on the on the map then you can have that but if you do want the travel to show as well then you can have that there as well so I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, plot in some more locations and we'll come back in a moment okay so I've gone through and I've added a few other locations um, that are part of the early section of the Burke and Wills 1860 expedition you can see that on the screen here you can see that I've got two layers one is a layer of just locations and the other is the layer of the lines, the actual route, so the tra uh, travel between the locations. Now the reason I've got that is because when you share this to your students, let's go to this tab here and this is what it will look like, is you can actually choose to have just the locations or the locations and the travel uh, the travel routes. That gives you a little, little bit of flexibility in terms of how you're actually talking about using the uh, tool in the classroom. Uh, now there are a whole range of ways you could talk about this. You can obviously use this to track an expedition, to track the uh, journey uh, of a story uh, in a novel. Uh, you can then talk about distances, whether you would travel the same way now as, as opposed to how Burke and Wills did back in 1860, whole range of um, ways that you can do this and I'll put a link to a resource that Alice Keeler has put together uh, that will give you some uh, ideas 
but that's getting access to the My Maps feature in Google Drive as part of the Google Suite. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. Thanks very much for watching.